Hey guys, this is Hydra with another video. Uh, this is going to be another like conceptual video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the scans that I use for my daily process in trading, right? So I'm going to go over three main scans. So the first one is going to be a full market scan. The second one is going to be a 4% breakout scan. And the third one is going to be a relative strength scan. So the first one is a full market scan, right? So this is this is the scan right here i have four requirements but only three are really required um so the first one is minimum uh stock price of two dollars minimum volume of two hundred fifty thousand shares being traded um and then this is a custom liquidity check so if you're trading uh, a size sizable amount of capital you don't want to be trading like illiquid stocks right like penny stocks you want to be able to get in and out very very quickly so liquidity is important for me but this is optional um and then there's another scan or another filter where i basically just check if the price is above the 20 day if it's not then i want to filter it out but when i run through the scan i'm going to get 288 stocks so that's a pretty uh, good size amount of stocks right and i basically have it on my left side over here so this is the list um so <clears throat> this is really good for situational awareness. So what the indices do aren't always a good uh, way to reflect or not or they're not always a good reflection of how the overall market is doing because the indices tend to be um, controlled by the big cap tech names, right? So if you want to get a really good understanding of how the actual market is doing, going through full market scans like this is very helpful because you'll see like if majority of the stocks are in, in like uh, a downtrend but the indices are grinding up higher then you know that even though the indices are grinding up higher majority of stocks are not doing that well so that means breakouts are not working and that also means that the big tech names are the, the only ones that are working so when you see market conditions like that you want to be less aggressive when you see a lot of names on these lists breaking out then you want to be very very aggressive but that's a really good way to basically get situation or if, understand situational awareness of the market rather than relying on the indices to see how the overall market is doing but yeah so when i go through this scan it's very simple i just look for setups right and when i say setup i'm just looking for like a simple bull flag setup or something like that right so let me go over a couple names uh, and i'll just show you like how i analyze stocks so for example this one this one looks like it's very choppy not interested very choppy this one's in a uh, very steady uptrend, so this one looks good, but there's no setup, no flag setup right now, right? Um, yeah, let me just keep going until I find the good one. So this one did have a nice flag setup, uh, and it did break out just recently, so this one's good. And it's actually starting to form another mini flag setup over here, so this is a good candidate. And all the stocks that I think are good candidates, I put them on another list called like a focus list or something, for example. But yeah, that's pretty much the full market scan. Um, let's go over the other ones. The second one is going to be the 4% breakout. So this one's also very simple. Uh, minimum has to be $5 and it has to have a 4% breakout on the day. and also has to have 9 million volume shares traded. So let's take a look at that scan and see what we got. So this one only has a couple names, which is good. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at it. So this one looks like it's more, uh, yeah, under ten dollars. But it looks like it had a very, very big momentum move last Friday. Huge volume, right? Look at the volume bars before and look at this volume. So there's a sign that this is a sign that maybe institutions are buying into the name. We don't know, but definitely something to be paying attention to. Uh, run. I like this one. Looks like it had a nice breakout, right, on last Friday. Not the biggest volume, but it did have more than 9 million shares traded. And you, this one had a very, very nice breakout, right? This one looked really good. GME, looks like it's popping again. Definitely want to keep it on your, uh, definitely want to keep an eye on it. And the scan will help you uh, find names like that, right? So that's good. RDX, strong breakout. BENF, this looks like a penny stock name that got a lot of momentum again, similar to the first one. AMGN, strong gap up, uh, and Apple, strong gap up, right? So, yep, yeah, the scan is pretty, pretty simple, but it does the job. 
uh, you just want to find strong breakouts and this is a great way to do it four percent or it has to make more than a four percent move and it has to have big big volume um yeah that's pretty much it and the last scan <coughs> is going to be your relative strength scan so the scan is going to so all the ones with the percentages are like the relative strength scans so all these scans um what they do for example 100 percent three month this this scan will basically give me all the stocks that have made a hundred percent move in the last three months same thing with this one right six months this one is one month 20 percent 20 percent one week 200 percent one year um so yeah this scan, these scans are pretty simple too so minimum five dollars minimum volume a hundred thousand and then i just want to check if it made a 20 percent move uh in the last week so let's go through this scan as well and this scan is very helpful for me because i want to find the strongest stocks um the strongest stocks that have made a big move recently right because the strongest stocks tend to always go higher and higher it's a very common uh, it's a very common thing that happens in the market right the big cap tech names for example they have been going higher and higher for like the last 20 years uh, microsoft is a very very good example uh, so yeah you always want to find the strongest names and see if they are forming some sort of flag setup because typically the strong the strongest names continue to get stronger and stronger um so yeah this is what the scan does we just want to find strong names and see if there are any flag setups right um and there's also a few names that i've never heard of before that i'll be able to catch on these scans so this one looks like a really really nice setup right or it did have a very nice setup so it was going sideways and had a big volume or big gap up with big volume and had a very very strong breakout and now it's starting to form a flag uh, this one still needs more time it looks a little bit extended but if it gets to like or if it forms more of a flag here then this is one that i definitely want to pay attention to but yeah uh, this game will basically help you find momentum leaders like this one right very big breakout and now it's starting to form a little flag here and uh, yeah you're able to find strong names or you're able to pick up uh, strong names using the scan um, but yeah that's pretty much it and then I also use like the bigger ones like for example 200% one year um, I go over this list maybe once every couple months and I just want to see the biggest winners like the last year and I want to see how they performed um, for example SMCI right and then I want to go I want to see their chart patterns and i constantly study these charts because the biggest winners always tend to have very very similar patterns right so if i can understand the pattern and see it in real time then i'll be able to capture the next one so that's basically what i do i just go through the scan or go through this list and study them one by one and i try to train my eyes to find the next big winner but yeah that's pretty much it a uh, pretty short and simple video um, i hope this was helpful and yeah thank you guys for watching There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.